James Cameron's Spider-Man. The road to Sony's 2002 Spider-Man is paved with failed attempts at bringing Spidey to the silver screen. And in that class, there's no bigger what-if than James Cameron's 1992 treatment. The director was fresh off of Terminator 2, but years away from making Titanic. An avid fan of the comic books, he began working on a script treatment for Carol Co. Pictures, who made Terminator 2. Stan Lee even endorsed Cameron's vision, an origin story that saw Peter Parker learn about power and responsibility the hard way, thanks to the murder of his beloved uncle. And if that sounds familiar, it should. Elements of Cameron's treatment remain in Sam Raimi's 2002 film, including the organic web shooters, which emphasize the puberty metaphor of Peter's transformation, and Mary Jane Watson's troubled home life. There were some shocking differences, though. The villains were Electro and the Sandman, rather than Green Goblin, with more violence and swearing than what we're used to in the Spidey franchise. But Carol Co. went bankrupt during pre-production, and spotty legal work meant that as many as five different studios felt entitled to the Spider-Man rights. Cameron tried and failed to land Spider-Man at 20th Century Fox, eventually moving on to some movie about a boat. We got some version of his vision when Sony finally made their movie, but given what we know about the director and the script, it still feels like a pretty big loss.